record. Welcome to yoga. We take this external of our of our um, senses and our brains and the world and the ladybugs and everything and um, start to turn it in in practice with externally rotated hips. Um, possibly you're sitting in another way that suits your body better, feeling free to elevate or support with props throughout practice. With practice, it can get easier to sit on the ground. Take a deep breath in, close your eyes. Deep breath out, relax, make no effort. Close your, keep your eyes closed and breathe as long as you can in. Just let it stretch. Add a little count to it if you like. Just curious. And then exhale, same. Go. Five, six, seven, do your own thing with that. Exhale a little longer. And then an even breath. allowing the navel to tone in towards the spine as you finish that exhalation. Open up your eyes to a soft gaze. And let's take care to arrange the legs, picking up the leg that is closest to you. Let it unfurl as you lean back. Weave your fingers behind your thigh with your thumbs wide. Stretch through the top of your foot and use your arms to sit tall so we have a Warming up boat pose variation here, a one leg boat. Press your other leg into the earth a little bit and relax your foot. Draw back your toes, draw back your foot. It's fine to let your knee bend. Please practice each position with compassion towards yourself. It's a big part of our practice is ahimsa. And relax your leg. Pay attention to the that that your knee's supposed to fold like a hinge. We're not supposed to rotate the knee. It will rotate just a little bit, but we want to make sure that we, we don't move it that way in yoga. We want to learn to fold it like it's meant to. And so when we move here, the hip rotates externally. So keep your knee closed. Let your hip open to the side. Other side, lean back, weave, thumbs wide. This is this unshakable courage gesture with the hands. Sit tall, lift your heart. Reach to the top of your foot. Let your arm muscles turn on here as you hold your strong leg. Think about half moon pose and other reaching leg poses as you activate and relax. Draw back your toes, other side, the back side of the leg and foot. Concentrate on what's in front of you without judgment using equanimity as you practice compassion as well. Relax your foot. Now the knee hinge. Once or twice, close your knee in on itself. Then let your hip externally rotate, bring your leg back to the earth. Come slightly forward towards the knees and then back to sit tall through the top of your spine. Relax your arms and hands, breathe in. Breathe out. You may use your hand or not, the dominant hand touching the first two fingers to the center of your forehead. Feel that calm quality with that gentle touch. And then practicing the Nadi Shodhana, the alternate side breathing. Lightly close the left side of your nose. Breathe in from the right side. Close the right and exhale left side. Never forcing, you can go with your own breath. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right, sun side. Exhale left, moon side. We begin on the left. Inhale. 
Exhale right. Inhale right. Listen to the breath. Exhale left. Last one. Inhale, moon side left. Exhale, sun side right. Release away your hand if you've used it. Fingers forward. Lean back into your hands, bend your elbows. Breathe through both sides of the nose as you lift your heart. Just be with the quality of that breathing practice. You can practice any time. It's supposed to bring a nice balance to the nervous system, to the brain. And exhale once more. Press your hands to sit tall. Let's release the legs to bring both knees to the right side. Sitting up tall, you can pop your blanket underneath your pelvis if you like. And just arrange your legs, they can overlap or not, just stack them over to one side. Sit up tall and bring your belly, ribs, heart, and then your head turns, looking back, twist. The arm behind has a nice spreading hand on the earth, so you have that support as you lean back in this one. If you want to take your other arm and do internal rotation, drape it behind your waist. Let your belly stay long and relaxed in twisting poses. One more deep breath. Follow exhale to release and come to the other side. Take time as you need it. If you know the pose and you come in more quickly, that's fine. If you need a little more time for your refinements and figuring out what's going on, that is also fine. I try to give you enough time so you can hold it longer if you have more experience with it. Inward rotation right behind the waist. Look back, twist. Remember to let your belly come, your heart, your chin. For five. Little awareness of the numbers and the counting and the timing in yoga. Why five breaths? Well, let's get the most out of those five breaths. One more time and release carefully, coming on around to your hands and knees. Pausing to place cushioning on your knees if you need it, just doing a little warm up, and also if you want to warm up your hands and wrists with a little movement and awareness, prepare. So we want them to be springy and open when we come down to the earth, lifting those arches of the hands. Most of your weight is in your legs, knees, tops of the feet, belly towards the spine. Carefully arrange your hands. So a lot of time spent here in practice, it's worth giving it a moment. Outward spiraling energy helps keep the shoulders broad. It's holding steady in your tabletop. And then let's add the reach forward with the right arm, left back with the left. It's okay to leave out the arm and just do the leg. So left leg reaching back, active. Pointing toes, maybe the opposite arm for five, four, three, keep lengthening, two, one more time. Welcome some warmth into your body, into the practice. Bring your knee and elbow towards each other, curl in, reach out one more time. Exhale, curl, and release down. Go back to quarter dog pose for a moment. Tuck your toes if you like. Arms active, head down. Hips back towards the heels to any degree. Keep the elbows lifted. Lengthening spine. Call me brain. One more exhale. There's a pulling energy with that inhale as you come back up to table. Use your arms to pull yourself back into the position in a moment to settle for the second side, that right leg reaching straight back, point the toes. Add the arm if it's not too much. 
Keep your neck relaxed. Five breaths. This is plank pose and core pose, poses. And very good for our spines to do this opposite work. One more breath, loving awareness to your back. Carefully bring it down. Tuck your toes this time, even if you didn't before, and bring your heels, your hips back towards your heels to your own degree. Walk out your arms, bow down your head. Pull your spine long by reaching your tail towards the wall behind you. Rib cage breathing. One more exhale. Inhale that pull. Pull, drag your hands a little bit, resist, come back, strengthen. Tuck toes, hips up, downward dog. Come out towards your hands and back towards your legs a few times, playfully. It's fine if your knees bent. Press hands, press feet. Pike up in your low belly. Just rock back and forth one more time. Come forward into your hands and then step it forward, fold forward with knees bending, tipping forward as you like. Tuck your head. Ask yourself to stand up and then feel what your body does first. Feel those feet press the earth so the legs are so important. Rise, reach, keep reaching as you breathe in. Breathe out, bring your arms slowly into the sides of your body. So letting your shoulders be nice and broad across the collarbones in practice. Breathe in, reach your arms wide. Breathe out, bring them up. Again, breathe in and reach. And breathe out, heart center. Step the feet easy wide, turning out toes. So you just feel open and free for the bow and arrow look back twist. You can do the closed hands or the open ones. So pull the hands away from each other and rotate to look back. Each twist comes from a foundation. So we just did a seated one. Here's a standing, standing twist. Try to activate your upper body muscles. One more inhale, energy, openness, prana. Exhale, soften and center. Second side, adjusting the feet and legs as needed. Feel, pause to feel. Take it up on the second side, open our closed hands, breathe in, long spine. Breathe out, let your spine rotate to look back. Pulling the hands away from each other. Side gazing. Let yourself feel a little fierce, a little powerful here, or maybe a lot as you open with that strength. And the exhale is a quieting energy and movement back to your heart center. Pause deep breath. Feet hip distance apart, top third of your mat, counting some salutations. This one is 10 breaths. Inhale, reach up for one. Reach down for two. So the breath is like two, three, four, five. Tuck your chin. Inhale, extend two, three, four, five. Exhale, go back. Two, three, four, five. Knees down, inhale, upward facing dog. So we're stretching out those breaths. Out your tail, tuck energy. Exhale, table and downward dog for five. Remember to relax what you can.
Learning to work where you can stay reasonably for those five breaths. Exhale. Six is coming forward and halfway lifting, inhaling. It's nice to wait before you exhale, before you take the movement and the breath, lead. Standing up, so start standing up and then start breathing in. So you have lots of time to do your upward reach. And exhale back down and into your sides. Free breath. More stillness, prana manifesting in stillness. Prana following the movement of attention as well. Sun salutation B, 18 positions. Bukhatasana, bend your knees, reach your arms, inhale. When you have time to find your shape and then straighten the legs and exhale for two. Arise and gaze for three, long through the neck. Exhale back to plank pose or add the elbow bend if you'd like. Chat around the knees, maybe down. Five, arms press straight, pelvis forward. And six, slowly to downward dog. And you seven, take your right foot forward, angle your back heel, and rise up into warrior A position. Take an extra breath. And next time you breathe out, release. Back to down dog or flow through with a little bend, the up dog too. And release. And warrior A with the second foot. Step forward, angle the heel, inhale, coming up. Exhale, take one more breath. And exhale, release back and downward dog or flow through. Again, up dog. And now five breaths, downward dog. Resting in downward dog. It's okay to bring down your knees if you would like. Feel your breath slow down. One more deep breath. Long spine, exhale. Inhale, coming forward to halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Your hands where they reach is fine. Coming up to Utkatasana, bend your knees, reach your arms. Just on that one breath. Exhale when you're ready. Bring it all back to center and pause. Um. As your next inhale begin, just notice the feeling of that beginning of inhalation. Let it slowly continue. And cycle back to exhale. Bend your knees and step to the right side on your mat. Reach your arms wide. So you stretch across the chest every time we do this, reach out. Turn your right leg out from your hip for triangle pose. Find your foundation, hips to the side. Exhale over and down. Maybe some tail tuck energy. Take care of your body. You want a long spine here and strong in the belly center. Open across your heart. And on this last breath, think about half moon pose. Just imagine your back leg lifted. Feel that shape. Exhale, navel in. Inhale, come up with the torso, stretch the arms wide again. And exhale over to the other side. Take your time, angle your feet, come on down, draw your navel in. And then explore the opening and lengthening aspects. Balancing the energy of prana and apana upward and downward flowing energy. The fall season is both grounding with downward energy 
and also very light like the wind. So it is both heavy and light. Legal in as you breathe out. Come up, use your legs, stretch your arms wide, turn the right parallel feet, and bring down your arms, relax. Stretch them wide again, breathe in. Turn your right leg out from your hip and add your knee bend for lean and reach pose, extended side angle pose. Again, tail tugging energy can help your low back be safe and comfortable. For one, soften your eyes towards your reaching arm. Use your back foot to create energy in the pose. Lift the arch, press that foot. And one more, exhale, wait for your own breath. Into the navel center. Inhale, up and out of those shapes. Stretch the arms wide, turn the feet wide, and then over to the second side with an out breath. Take your time to refine your feet, your lean and your reach, the shoulder off the ear. Gather the fingers gently, hand to the floor if you like. Tailbone tucking and steady your eyes. Practice gives our logical brain plenty of things to do. So we're holding all these actions, just the right amount, creating a very concentrated state. Infuse your pose with your attention. And we'll do it with one more breath. Inhale, rise up. Again, turn to wide parallel and reach your arms. Breathe out, bring your hands to your pelvis. Coming forward with wide legs. Knees might bend. You want to tip the pelvis forward. So know, learn to know your own body to guide your pelvis forward, letting the knees bend to help that happen as needed. So work with yourself. Come on down, bow down to your own degree. Let your fingers encourage your belly up towards your spine. And then release your hands over to your right leg. Just wrap your arms and bring your head and torso over there as well. Just a little uplift in the low belly and the pelvic floor. Let the feet relax and spread one more time. Carefully come up to center and over to the other side. So we create a release of the latissimus along the side of the body here. So no matter about the legs being straight, it doesn't matter at all. Just having your spine comfortably extended forward out of your pelvis. One more exhalation. Be careful with slowness, do some returning to center. Hands back to your pelvis, press your feet, use your legs, extend up and exhale. Feet wide and parallel, bend your right knee towards your toes. Five, nice long spine, four, three, two, that open pressing foot, creating strength all the way up to the hip. Exhale once more, and then a determined press of that foot to come up and out all the way tall. Exhale, knee towards the toes. So wide parallel feet, not side lunge, but forward lunge, pasarita lunge, pelvis back, long spine. One, two, turning on your tapas, your fiery determination. Once more, exhalation. Look at your foot as your brain asks it to press. Come up and out. And let's swing out the toes and come up with easy arms for star. This is not a back bend. This is an axial extension. Right up towards the sky, long spine and space in your bones. Gently reach your fingers. Gently lift your rib cage. If 
like to switch your gaze upward for a breath and just experience that upward eyes, downward eyes, centered eyes as you bring your hands past them and press your feet to the top section of your mat. Learning to stand with mindfulness, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Front facing pelvis pose. Step the right leg back, hips towards the front. Roll your shoulders in, reach back, breathe in. Breathe out, come together with your hands in some way and hold your opposite arm, wrist, press knuckles, press fingers, all good. Tall spine, breathe in. Hard lift. Parsvottanasana in tense side stretching pose. Forward and down. Hips square towards the front. Stop at any point, a big toe gaze or a shin gaze. Elbows lift. Five. Four. It's fine to let your front knee bend to help your pelvis tip forward. There's so much forward in this practice. One more breath out. Press your feet, rise. Keep your arms, change the legs. Step out, step back, pause a moment, make sure you feel balanced. You wanna be balanced before you go forward. Tall spine when you're ready, heart lift. Forward fold with slowness. You can feel the muscles in your back with your arms back there, helping support you as you come out and down. So you can take a knee bend, tilt, and then try to straighten. Five, four, shin or big toe gaze. Last one. Follow your inhalation to come up and out. Release your arms away. A few infinity symbols with your hands and wrists. Just let them be open and free. And still, once again, settling. Inhale skyward. Interlace fingers, press up. Slowly exhale, let your knees bend. Wrap the back of your legs and hug forward. Bring down your hands and step your left leg back first. Lizard lunge, come to your back knee, arms to the inside. Have a little time here for preparations and explorations before I do the count. So um, the knee can be down or up. You may lower to your forearms, one or both forearms. You may roll to the outside of your foot. Just have a moment for curiosity. There is some plank pose work here, inner elbows coming forward, hands spreading, lifting out of your chest. Five breaths. Shifting the energy of the practice, so you move halfway down. Looking deep, deeply in the hips. One more breath. Exhale it. Press into your foot to bring your weight back and then bring your hand across, both hands across, actually. Down, down, maybe add a look back at your back foot. Soften what you can. Be aware of your hands, your face. One more deep breath. Exploration mode. And slowly release back to center, bring back your life. Working on our strength this month, our dips, hands forward, elbows in, knees back. Shift your chest forward and then hug your elbows in. Bend and straighten five times to your own degree. You can lift your feet off the floor if you like. You can come to the balls of the feet instead. Let a little warmth come in. One more time. Go low. Press. And go back to Balasana, child's pose. Straighten your arms. Relax your head. 
shifting the energy from worm pose, that really pranic work, back to apana, downwardness. One more exhale. Lizard pose, second side. Go ahead and start with your arms both on the inside as you bring your left foot forward, turning out the toes and the knee in the same direction. A little time to explore where your back knee is. It can be wherever it feels like you have enough space to settle your kneecap. You can be on the ball of the foot. All these choices. This side, where do you want to be? Roll to the outside. So we can all look all these different ways. Okay, five breaths. Somewhere that feels interesting and positive. Just one more. Let it feel complete. When you're ready, come on up and out with some slowness, drawing the hips back, coming across the leg with both arms, looking at your back foot, getting a nice lateral release, a soft, softness where you can manage it. One more time. Exhale. Slow release. So there's always time to make your own breath. It's, it's not a big difference if you are exhaling a little longer, that's fine. Um, let's come out to the belly. Our bellies, your belly. Come out to your belly. Carefully work your way down. Rest forward into your arms. Let your pelvis rock side to side, grounding front body, centering, finding stillness. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Bend your knees, flex your feet, and lift your knees off the floor to any degree for five breaths. Lift as high as you can. Stress you forward with your head and arms. Think of being in bridge pose. Press your feet. Press. And then relax your knees. Come on down. Let's do the downward facing Baddha Konasana today where you bring your feet together and your knees apart. Downward facing. Your feet might come to the floor or they might stay up in the air. So you can see my legs, knees wide. Feet rest into each other. Experiment with the feet coming downward, possibly. So just let your hips do what they want and let the feet rest together. Up the first diamond of the pose. Then we have the second diamond of the arms. The third is the hands and fingers. If you can comfortably nestle your forehead in there, relax down your shoulders. Quiet. Chance to release earthward any grief or anything that resonates, any sadness in part of the season. Twice more slow breath. But release your, your three diamonds. Just let go of those actions. Stretch your body out long. In breath, reach through your fingers, long spine, reach through your toes. And out breath, gather your arms in by your sides, coming to dolphin pose. Walking in, head down. You can have your hands flat or together. Your head can touch the floor if you like. Lifting out of your shoulders. So a nice external rotation in the shoulders. Press your arm bones. Uplift low belly. 
One more time, really press your arm bones. Bring down your knees. Child's pose once more, your own favorite way. Staying tucked back in child's pose. That's one choice to stay where you are. If your favorite way is the revolt version, you may come up a bit and take your right arm through, palm up and come down into your threaded needle, revolt child's pose. Hips up or down. Take about five breaths now after settling in. Relax your eyes. Everything connected by breath. One more breath out. You may stay tucked in your child's pose still or come out and join the lion's breath on the hands and knees and be walking your hands around to the sides or back to your own degree. Deep breath in. Your own lion, you can stick out your tongue, roar, gaze at your third eye, let go. Carefully release the hands and wrists and over to the second side, revolving the child's pose, taking a little time to, to feel into that. So you can stay with the hips more up or down. Just support yourself, breathe deeply five times. Exhale. Inhale, rise up from wherever you have been. Optional up dog, down dog to see it or just to see it. I think it feels good to stretch out the legs after having them folded in. Do your thing to get into this transition to seated in our pose, rocking side to side with the legs out. Reach your toes down towards the earth. Bring your hands back to heart lift pose and gaze down with your heart. If you wanna lift your hips, you may. And still very much activate, pressing shoulder blades together, heart lifting, pressing hands. One more breath. Moving the downward gaze when we go into back bending positions. And exhale, relax, release, rock side to side. And stillness. Ardha Matsi Andrasana, holding your right leg in, bringing the left foot to the floor and coming around the knee. Try to compact yourself in this. Try to bring your legs in close. And then sit up tall with a relaxed belly. Rotation to look back towards the left. Support your leg, your, your folded leg, your hip as you like with your arm. And your other hand to the earth behind or continuing around the back of your waist. Five slow breaths. Let your eyes stretch to the side, part of the juicy, but without straining. Steadiness. Last time. Wait for your exhale, stay in your shape, and follow inhale to release. Change the other way. If you want to pause in the middle and press your hands, lift your hips, hit the reset button, come to the other side. Taking the time to set up, it's time to be elevated. 
Ardha Matsya Andrasana, the look back, the rotation of the freedom in the belly. Hand behind or draped behind the waist, other arm supports the hip. Five slow breaths. The count helps keep us in the now. Impermanence, there's the fifth breath, inhaling. Exhaling, stay, maybe even gently deepen. And follow, inhale to release. Take a moment here, please, to put on a long sleeve layer or socks to get any shavasana props you would like to have as we come to our back bodies and don't have to get up by covering pillows and blankets if you need a little sip. The, the breathing is drying, so it's important to hydrate with warm liquids before and after practice, little sips during, because we don't want to put out the fire. So we have created this fiery environment inside just a warmth, a nice gentle fire as you come to your back body rest in your bridge shape, grounding in your sacrum, ground the back of your skull. Feel the connection of cranium and sacrum. Breath moving between the two. Rising up to bridge pose, palms up, arms to the side, rise up. Think about when we were on our bellies and pelvis was pressing into the floor. We try to find that forward press. And the feet were pressing towards the sky. We try to find that sense of press in the feet. Make sure your neck has enough space. Optional, come underneath with each shoulder and weave your fingers. Five breaths. See if that downward facing version helps inform your upward facing one today. Your upward bow. One more breath. Following exhale for a release down and out of your shape. All the way, let your pelvis and your spine come to a landing. Turn your toes out and go side to side with your knees and your arms, palms down, stretch out by your sides. Just try to move with some freedom from your hips as they rotate. Not holding back, not forcing. Try to do about the same number on each side. Let's settle into a resting twist over to the right. So just a nice and comfortable one. Bring the knees or one knee over. Your yogi's choice, you'd like the crossover one. We're going to do the knees with some support between with my blanket today. Turn your head away and start resting in this shape. Let it soften so it's just gravity and not effort. Letting the eyes close and soften. They don't have to close all the way, they can stay just a little bit open. Stretch the breath in and out. Keep your belly relaxed. And come over to the other side, setting up. It might be different, it's okay. Just setting up a yogi's choice, resting twist, taking a little time so it feels good in your body. Sense of opening and groundedness. Relax and breathe, bye.
breath is endlessly interesting. How it moves in the body. Focus on rib cage and spine. See if you can release tension. With your awareness. One more time. Releasing when you're ready, slowly back to center. Let's finish today with happy baby pose, which gives us the upside down legs and hip releasing. So your own playful version, the knees can bend as you like. You can have them wide, a little movement time, nice long back, so your energy flow stays good. And then come to a place of stillness to hold for five breaths in your body. Bring this lengthen across your low back. And then slowly come down. Stretching out the legs so that creates a nice length for carrying for Shavasana resting pose coming out. So we have a little time to arrange body comfortable, any supports, keeping yourself warm, grounded. So something on top of you or underneath you or both. When you're at home, you can use your favorite stuff. Eye covering, if you're restless like me, And cover your hands, your eyes with your hands without a covering. Just let them soften around the eye sockets, soften brain. Thank you, brain. You can relax down, your eyes resting, your body resting. The part of your brain that never rests just carries on. body will breathe for you. Soft shoulders all the way to fingers. Those moments of settling and beginning. And now, Shavasana. For an endless count. Let go of counting. The breath creates a steady rhythm that you might follow if your brain wants to follow that. Just connect with it. Seven energy centers, the main energy centers of the body, the chakras. Chakra means wheel. In Sanskrit, the C is always cha. Seven 
Number one is the root. Perineum. Where the apana bayu expresses the downward energy, the downward movement. Two is the sacrum in the bowl of the pelvis. Emotions, creativity, watery nature. Three at the navel center, the Manipura, the city of jewels, golden like the sun, our pranic center. The pranavayu originates at the navel and goes to the third eye. We'd like to explore that for a breath, just without disturbing yourself too much, just feeling energy. And then from third eye down to Muladhara, the pelvic floor once again. Bring awareness up to your heart center, center of chest. Allow the breath to move that place, create space and openness, sense of freedom. Swallow gently and feel the fifth chakra at the throat. So tender and soft. Communication center, blue like the sky. And settle awareness to the space between your eyebrows. Place that says, I know. command center. If you'd like to add the sense of touch, you may bring some fingertips or one or both of your palms to your forehead and feel the third eye space. Seven is the very top of our skull. You want to touch or just bring awareness. Bring all our connection to the cosmos. And release down your arms if they have been reaching up. Let's finish by breathing from root to crown and back down. Then curling in and rolling to your most comfortable side for a moment, pause for a breath. Just comfortable enough is fine for that one breath coming up, finishing for a moment, holding your legs any way that feels good. Just let yourself relax and sit without effort. Let the light of the sun surround you. Allow some gratitude space and the sharing of gratitude. Come into your heart space. Thank you for your patience in the beginning and for practicing. The light is certainly different. It's obvious here um, as the bright light comes across me at this new time of day. We'll just keep pretending it's not any different. <laughs> and, but our practices do help us in balance. So I hope you feel that with your